করি জীবন গড়ি কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি দারিদ্র করেছি জয় সংসার আনন্দময় দারিদ্র করেছি জয় সংসার আনন্দময় কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি কর্মহীন বেকার হয়ে ঘরে বসে থাকব না ছবি আঁকবো না বিত্তহীন নিঃস্ব বলে স্বপ্ন হারাবো না আমরা হতাশ হব না এই কথাটা মনে রেখো ইচ্ছা থাকলে উপায় হয় দারিদ্র করেছি জয় সংসার আনন্দময় কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি দারিদ্র করেছি জয় সংসার আনন্দময় কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি Now Shahid I am a bit busy Listen to me for just a minute please No I have nothing to discuss with you Pia hear out the poor fellow he's trying so hard to talk to you Okay say what you have to say Love love I I I mean I wanted to mean I mean marriage Listen Shahid I can't marry a boy who is unemployed I have a master's degree I am looking for a job might just get one very soon if you i mean it can't be you need to have a ground to stand on at first and then only can i think of marriage you mean you would marry someone else if my friend doesn't get a job in his lifetime don't be silly shadamia it's not even about a job you know it's important for a man to have a regular earning to have the capability to run a family shahid how about you think of other ways to earn money instead of waiting around for a 9 to 5 job you know how hard that is nowadays My father sold off his land for parties one by one just to see me well educated. His dream was that I get a white collar job after finishing my masters. Well, you did pass the masters, but you still are so naive, Shahid. Office jobs aren't that easy to get, silly. Be practical. <laughs> Sister, I am studying, mashallah. Can I become an educated man? Pia, please stop being so heartful. Sorry Shahid listen just think if you can't do anything using your land property that you have left go on then don't just stand there Shahid how much property do you think is left now we have only the piece of land just into our home state what shall i do that small piece of land yes that is enough for a startup you can earn an income with that too come with me to the training center and we will figure out a venture At first, stand on your own feet and after that... Today, we would learn how one can benefit from establishing a nursery on a small piece of land. Nursery usually refers to a garden of seedlings. A nursery is a place where flower, fruit, vegetables and timber tree seedlings and grafted seedlings are produced, nursed and preserved. We need good quality seedlings if we want to have good quality trees. It is imperative to establish nurseries, either small or big, throughout the country to get healthy and stronger seedlings. Forestry resources in our country have to be raised to improve our environment. This vision of ours cannot be fulfilled without establishing in numerous numbers of small and big nurseries. Necessary materials to establish and operate a nursery. You need to have the fixed materials like strainer, bucket, small saw, axe, spade, crowbar, sickle, mallet, hoe, knife, shovel, watering can, weeding spade, spray machine, etc. to establish and operate a nursery business. Many of these things are readily available at most rural households. As per current market price, the items that you don't have at your house cost Taka 1500 approximately. You can buy all those things from the local market. Selection of land to establish a nursery. You need 
a piece of fertile land having loamy or sandy loamy soil. The land should be a bit elevated so that it's not prone to perennial flooding or rainwater clogging. If you're starting your nursery, you have to keep a provision to unclog the rainwater from your land immediately. Seeds purchase and collecting techniques. Seeds purchase. There are some companies whose seeds are of very good quality. So, you have to buy seeds from those dependable companies. There are some trees whose seeds begin to fall on the ground after ripening. The seeds that fall at the outset and at the end of falling from a tree are not of good quality. So, you have to collect the seeds during the time in between. There are some trees whose seeds should be collected after those seeds have ripened well. Seeds are not always available. So, you have to preserve the seeds in plastic jars, plastic bags, glass jars or in polythene packs. Seed processing before sowing. You have to process the seeds before sowing them. There are many methods to process seeds such as heap or brew method, wetting method in water, refining method in hot water, grooving method and soaking and cracking method. Collection of seeds Time of seed sowing and seedling germination time of some valuable timber and fruit tree have been shown in tables below. The first table shows the collection of seeds, time of seed sowing and seedling germination time of some valuable timber trees only. Collection of seeds, time of seed sowing and seedling germination time of some valuable fruit trees. Bed preparation for nursery. Nursery beds can be 20 feet in length and 4 feet in breadth. The bed should be north-south faced in length. For this, the beds would get maximum amount of balanced sunlight in a day. The soil of the bed has to be dug at a measurement of 8 to 12 inches deep and the soil has to be dried so that they become granular and loose. You have to throw the following off after sorting them out carefully from the soil. For instance, if there are any grasses, roots, brick chips, wooden flakes or stone particles present in the soil of the land. You have to bring good quality soil from somewhere else and have to prepare the bed if the soil of your land is not up to the mark. You have to put 4 inches high, granular, dusty soils on the land where you choose to prepare the bed. Then, you have to apply cow dung on that soil at a thickness of 1 and quarter inches so that the entire soil is covered with that stuff. After that, you have to apply chemical fertilizer on that soil as per specified quantity and have to mix everything applied well with a spade or shovel. You have to splash water on every layer of the soil so that cow dung, soil and chemical fertilizers petrify well. After that, you have to cover that bed with leaves and tendrils. At first, however, you have to dig trenches and side trenches to prepare bed on a piece of land. After that, taking soil from the dugout trenches, you have to raise the height of the bed by 4 to 6 inches. The trenches of the bed have to be dug at a measurement of 8 to 12 inches in breadth and 4 to 6 inches in depth. You have to keep a distance of 16 to 20 inches between one bed to another. You have to fence the beds with bamboos or bricks as well. Seedling production at a nursery. After preparing the bed, seed sowing can be done in two ways by spreading those out throughout the bed by hand or by sowing them in lines. You have to spread out the seeds on the bed everywhere equally. Then, you have to take a piece of wooden plank and press the seeds lightly so that they get inserted beneath the soil. You can sow the seeds on the bed in lines. The distance between one seed to another should be 2 inches in a line in case of short-term seedling production. For long-term seedling production, the distance should be 4 inches. The distance in between two lines should be 8 inches. Taking good care after you have sowed the seeds in the nursery bed is very important. You should cover the sown seeds lightly with the soil. Be careful so that the seeds do not get inserted deep into the soil. You have to irrigate the bed regularly after you have sown the seeds. You have to build a shed on the bed so that the seeds do not get direct sunlight or get wet in rainwater. You can also produce seedlings by sowing seeds in poly bags, but it is rather a risky job. It takes much time and it is costly too. But if you know how to do the job well, you can produce seedlings in poly bags. You have to study nursery related books to know in details. Application of fertilizers in nursery. It is better to use organic fertilizers exclusively in the seed beds to produce seedlings. Cow dung. 
This stuff makes the adhesive. It capacitates the soil to increase its fertility and keep the soil healthy. Decomposed waste materials. This fertilizer is highly beneficial for the production of seedlings. Oil cakes. This fertilizer is very useful in seedling production. Mustard oil and neem cakes are widely used to serve the purpose. This fertilizer kills or drives away the unhelpful microbes in the soil and plant infections along with increasing the soil fertility. Burn dust is widely used to help the plant grafts attach quickly. Disease control in nursery. The remedies for fungal or rotting diseases are removing the nursery shed quickly and you should not sow seeds thickly adjacent to one another. You have to remove the affected seedlings and you should not water the seedlings too much. Change the bed soil every two to three years. Spray out the plants with a mixture of a liter of water and five milliliter of coprovit or dithein per liter of water twice a week. If you notice spots on the leaf, root rotting and tip dying diseases in seedlings in your nursery, spray a mixture of 1 liter water, 25 grams of blixtin or dithein on the seedlings twice a week. You have to pluck out the weed growing on the beds regularly and make sure it's always clean. You also have to thin out the seedlings on the bed. Regularly uproot the affected seedlings and burn those off. Remember to keep a provision for draining out excess water clogged on the beds and also make arrangements for a clear passage of air. If you find leaf perforation or wrinkling diseases in your seedlings, prepare a mixture of a liter of water and 3 ml of coprovit and spray the demolition twice in a week. To know more about plant diseases, consult with your local agriculture officer. Nursing and growing seedlings in polybags. If you want to grow your seedlings well into bigger ones, you have to keep them and nurse them at your nursery for a long period. After growing the seedlings in our land-based beds, we can grow them in polybags. That way, growing seeds bigger would be easy and profitable. We have to purchase PP polybags, size 10 inches in height and 6 inches in width, or thick polybags from the bazaar or local shops. Depending on the size of the polybags, you have to perforate the polybags with 8 to 16 holes on each of them. You have to pour the soil mixture slowly into the polybags in layers. Then, press the soil mix inside the bags with your palm or by using a bamboo stick. After that, hold the bags upright and shake them 2 to 3 times. After shaking, if you find the bags upper part to be empty, pour in some more soil mixture into the bags. You have to keep the polybags in a position that all the polybags stay straight and attached to one another. Be careful that they do not get leaned. Then bury bamboo poles surrounding the place designated to keep the polybags and tie up longitudinally cut bamboo slivers vertically around the bamboo poles to make a fence. Replant them in the polybags again when the seedlings in the bed growing up a bit longer. You have to replant the seedlings from the bed to the polybag size 10 inches in height and 6 inches in breadth. Nurse the seedlings in the polybags for 6 to 7 months and in some cases up to a year. Keep the polybags in east-west direction in length. Keeping them that way will ensure that they get sunlight for the entire day. This time keep the polybags at a distance of 6 to 8 inches apart from each other. The arrangement should have taller seeds on one side and then gradually the shorter ones. Prune the roots if any of them comes out of the polybag. Water the polybags regularly and clean up the weeds. Sales of seedlings at your nursery. You can sell of various types of flowers, crotons, cactus seedlings, etc. when they're smaller in size. But you would have an increased amount of profit if you sell seedlings of various types of fruit and timber tree seedlings. You can sell of seedlings after buying small seedlings or grafted seedlings from bigger nurseries and nursing growing them as bigger seedlings instead of growing them at your nursery. If you do this, you do not have to take the risk of collecting seeds and producing seedlings. You can earn a robust profit by doing this as well. For example, it can be said that the rose seedlings are sold at a price ranging from taka 1000 to 1200 per 100 at bigger nurseries. Those seedlings can be resold at a price ranging from taka 50 to taka 100 per seedling after bringing them up into a bigger one. You can sell a few seedlings to different schools and colleges 
to different organizations or NGOs that are working on social forestry programs, or at different fairs or exhibitions, demonstrations, at different bazaars or makeshift bazaars, or from your own display center. Flowers bloom even on dead trees when you are next to me. Flower booms even on dead trees when you are next to me. My heart feels with joy when I see you two together, Sister Pia. Now, my friend Shahid is no more an unemployed man. Should I play that tune on the Sinai? Of course. Now I am a owner of a nursery. Pia, when shall you will be mine? At first, stand on your own feet and after that... Keep patience, my friend. The blooming of flowers on your seedlings is imminent. Profit, income and expenditures at a nursery. You can get a profit of taka 38,600 in a year if you establish a nursery on a five cotton land and spend taka 6,400 in total. However, some of the seedlings may not get sold that were produced in the first year. Those will be sold at a higher price next year. In this fashion, every year, some of the unsold seedlings will be sold next year at a higher price. And thus, you will get an incremental profit every year. You've earned a hefty profit after establishing your nursery, mate. Now, please arrange your marriage festival so that we can have a huge merrymaking ceremony. No, no. We can't spend our money by arranging any festivity. I have advised Shahid to spend the money he kept for the wedding to expand his nursery. I have earned a profit of 38,600 taka this year after I established my nursery. It means you are no more an unemployed person. Go on then, sort out your marriage formalities. No, no, we can't spend any money. We would marry at the marriage register's office. Sister Kohinoor, you are the witness of our marriage. You know, I am presenting my nursery to Pia as my wedding gift. Really? I really like your gift very, very much. But you have the responsibility to run the nursery, you know. Please, please share some of the responsibility with me too, my dear friend. So, let's not delay the festivities. What do you say, Pia? Yes, sister. I mean, I... I... On the piece of land by your home, produce seedlings to make a nursery. This business is so profitable, there will be no poverty. <laughs> <laughs>